What up, Heart Squad? Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Don't think about it. It's fine. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I want to talk about something that um, was new. I just added to see TCG Player. Um, this is not TCG Player, by the way. This is CardinalGaming.com. But um, <laughs> I want to show you guys a cool little feature that uh, I thought should have been implemented for years now. But uh, they just added it. I think last week, maybe uh, uh, earlier this month, sometimes. Uh, but it's brand new, um, and if you don't know of it, you're going to want to know. So let's take a look at TCG Player. Uh, so it used to be, this is the seller portal side of uh, TCG Player. So it used to be, uh, this little column here, uh, this is a Vanguard card. Uh, this little column here is uh, the last sold listing for that condition and the price that it sold at. Super useful information when you go to price something out and put something up for sale because that gives you at least some sort of barometer of what somebody was willing to pay for a card. It's good. It's a good thing. This is knowledge that helps us as a seller give a fair value. Or if, uh, for example, if we don't have any cards available, like for this uh, moderately played, if these were a, a wider margin spread apart, for this moderately, moderately played slot that has no listing there currently, I get to pretty much set the price for a moderately played card. And I can look and see, oh, this last one sold was 75 cents. So if I'm the only one there, I could say, well, I'm going to be way cheaper than the lightly played. Let's say this is, this is obviously wonky just because of slow sales. But let's say this was $10 and this was $5.63. I come along and say, well, my, my moderately played last one for 75 cents, sure, but I'm the only one. And I can, as long as I'm cheaper than the lightly played and somebody doesn't care about condition, they're going to buy mine. So I'm going to come along and just be, all right, uh, 563, I'm going to be 499. And that's how it would work. That's, that's, that is f super useful information because uh, I can see all the information on the screen. You, as a buyer, was not able to see this information until recently. So, on the item page of TCG Player, this is for an Evolving Skies booster box, obviously. You have all the information that we're used to. Um, this little featured window here. This 25 listings. Uh, so there's 25 sellers for this item. And you can view all the listings. It's going to tell you everybody that has this item for sale. Good old The Gaming Company with 237 boxes. So, the, the new thing is right here. Latest sales. This is something that you as a buyer was never able to see before extreme, extremely recently. So it's good. It's good information. It's important for you because this safeguards you against people that might be putting up a, a, a very slow selling or maybe just not very populated on TG Player and throw it up there for some outrageous price just because they're the only listing there. This is good for you. This is uh, a buyer protection level and kind of ensures that you're getting a good deal. So let's click on it. You can click on it and you can see, uh, what is the last 10? Looks like the last 10. Well, well maybe a little bit more. But of uh, the last 10 purchases of this item. And it gives you the date and the condition. So if this wasn't, this was a card, it'd say the card. And then the price that it sold at. So you can see, and as you can see, as the uh, boxes were sold throughout, uh, this is just today, so all these boxes are selling today, uh, you know, stuff is, is selling super quickly, which is another good thing to see, how often it's selling as well. That's helpful for both buyers and sellers. Um, that, you know, in the course of the day, it's gone down a penny. Not as extreme. And, uh, you know, for an item like this that is uh, selling probably several hundreds a day, maybe, potentially. Uh, this is obviously kind of a, a, a wonkier information than would be on another card. So let's look at an actual card and look at this and see where this would be super helpful for you. This is good, too, just because, say, uh, this booster box was $200, and that was the cheapest thing that was on TCG Player. It's happened. And you can click on this and say, uh, and it would be maybe that nobody's buying it at that price. Maybe they're just not selling so you, as a buyer, could come along and say, hey, I think this is super expensive, and I don't think it should be selling for this, and I'm right because 
there's no sales for this. And other people are thinking the same thing. Again, very useful information that I as a seller had, but you didn't as a buyer. And now you do, so this is good. All good things. More information is good for both buyers and sellers. So like I said, let's hop over to a card. I just chose the Chansey from uh, Bait Set. We can look at first editions as well. Same thing. We have, looks like 66 listings of this card and all the varying conditions down here. So this is gonna lump in all the conditions selling here in the past, looks like, you know, past month. So, because we're at the end of July. So, in just a month's time, we've only sold, well, it looks like, you know, nine, 10 chances. That's it. So, you know, a rare card that probably would see more faster and more consistent sales on a platform like eBay, just because of the ability to take pictures and stuff like that. But you get to see, uh, hey, only one first edition sold, and it was a lightly played one. So if you're looking at this and you want to buy a near mint uh, <laughs> olive oil version of this card, and it hasn't sold in a month, that can tell you that maybe that price isn't a good price for the near mint one, and I can do some more research somewhere else. So this is kind of like building in that kind of safeguard for you that kind of saves you some steps to say, yes, this is selling at this price. This is what people are also agreeing that the price is because people are buying it. And then I'm getting a, a good deal because it is consistent with what has been selling here recently. So it's all good, good information for buyers to have. Um, so <laughs> it's just funny how damaged, damaged cards are selling. I guess people just want card collections for the binder maybe and they just want a shadowless one for a binder and they'll just buy it but again kind of like a weird price range like look um this one on july 16th sold for ten dollars and then uh 10 days later somebody came along and bought one for 20 bucks that's um probably just the next cheapest one right and then the, somebody sold another one three days later for 22 dollars or 21.30 you uh, know another price increase so again, it tells you that information of like how many maybe are being listed because the more that are listed, the cheaper prices should be because people are competing. So you always want to be the cheapest price in your category because that means if somebody comes along and wants to buy it at that category, they're going to buy yours first. That's the, the great part of TCG Player. That's the competitive nature of TCG Player. So this information is good. This is telling me that the damage hollow foil for this card is potentially overpriced right now because of just the last sold ones that sold in the last 15 days um, are just, we've just been selling some through some stuff. So this this one that is, um, you know, this is $22 after shipping, this is $21 after shipping. Um, these are, are cheaper than what they have been earlier this, this uh, earlier this month. So maybe I can wait and, and hold off and not buy this card right this second. And again, Hopping over here to uh, just another card I, I grabbed, a random uh, rare from Aquapolis, a Tyranitar, beautiful card. Um, in reverse, it looks awesome. So if I wanted to buy this card in reverse, let's see. I go to last sales. I can see, man, only two reverse sold this month. So I can look at this and say, okay, this one for moderately sold for 30. This one for damaged sold for 21. So if I wanted to buy a lightly played or a near mint in reverse, let's see if they have any, first of all, because again, this is not a, there's only 21 listings. So let's see. We can go down here and click uh, reverse only. Boop. Um, oh, there is none. Interesting. It says there's five. Oh, wait. What? All right, disregard. So for example, this one from Full Grip is for $40 plus 50 cents shipping. <laughs> so if this is the only uh, damaged one, for example, um, yeah, it's the only damaged one, but I, I don't want to pay that. That seems like it'd be uh, a silly thing to do, to buy a, this one that's damaged. Let me go, um, let me some other pages here. But again, you, you kind of see the point where you can, you have information that you did not have previously, and you're able to make better buying decisions and not just buy whatever because of what's there. Oh, here, here's one from uh, Beta TCG with a whopping eight sales. It uh, has a damage reverse one. Um, 
So he's he's cheaper, but uh, I guess maybe if I had to choose between Beta TCG and Full Grip Games, I would probably go with Full Grip Games and pay the extra a little bit more. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point is that use this, use this function over here for this latest sales and see which way the prices are trending uh, for sealed products especially. You know, see how often things are selling, see how much is available and how much product is being moved through because that could potentially gauge and, and inform you about if I don't buy it now, the price is going to increase potentially. Uh, there's tons of stuff you can glean from this uh, sales window. So use it. It's good. You can buy from TCG Player with more confidence now that you're getting a good deal because of this. So it's good. It's a good thing for everybody. So if you didn't know about it before, I got you. Now you do. So that's all I got, guys. Just want to put out a quick video just to inform you guys, allow you to make some better decisions, hopefully, when buying some cards on TCG Player. Uh, if you don't want to buy from TCG Player, check out CardinalGaming.com and uh, come check us out there. I do have tons of singles and stuff for your uh, buying needs there as well. So uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel, supporting the store. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.